In Tableau 2019.1, Tableau have added the ability to automatically generate phone layouts on your dashboard. Now, it's important to think about this feature in two ways. Firstly, as an author, and then secondly, as an author who's publishing to Tableau server. Let's tackle the first one. So you can see in this dashboard here that I actually already have a phone layout. If I just click on the phone layout, you'll see that this, this looks like a very purposefully designed layout. If I use the automatic layout, this is actually what Tableau will do. And I have to be honest, this feature doesn't quite hit the mark for me because I actually think the correct sort of uh, design choice was actually this uh, dashboard here, which decides to take some of the less pertinent information away and only leaves the functionality you'd actually want to use on your phone. If I go over to the customer's dashboard, this sort of, uh, this, this point is more pronounced. So let's uh, go over to the tablet view where you can see that the table has been removed uh, to again, make it easy for the user to use this dashboard on the go. Now, I don't have a phone layout here. So what I have to do is I have to go into the device preview to bring out this tab, uh, tab at the top. Now, if I hit the tablet menu here and I hit phone, you'll see that I get this sort of uh, border that shows me where the phone view would be. And I can untick or tick this to simulate the space that the Tableau mobile app interface takes. So this little gap here is essentially what the Tableau mobile app interface is going to take. Now, when I hit add phone layout, it automatically generates this layout. So I haven't done any work here. It's automatically generated it for me. And if I then click edit layout myself, then I can change this and make the sort of stylistic design choices that I want. Now, a lot of authors publish their dashboards without ever going to the device preview pane. And if you're in the habit of doing this, then this feature is going to sting you a little bit because if you don't untick this option at the top to auto generate layouts, then it's actually gonna do this on all your layouts if someone happens to use their mobile device, even if you haven't actually authored it or had a look at it. So I actually posted another video, I'm gonna put this in the links on the top right hand side, showing you how to switch that feature off if you'd like to have full control of how your dashboard looks to your user. You might actually be happy for them to use the desktop version of your dashboard because even though it doesn't fit, the, u the user can sort of navigate or move around the dashboard themselves. And it's a largely familiar um, sort of look, even though it's maybe not the best sort of user experience. If you found this video useful, hit subscribe. If not, drop a comment, let me know the kind of content you'd like to see in the future.